Hi everyone, come and join me and I'll paint you these cute little cottages in a snowy scene. It's really simple and easy to do and you can follow along. along. And if you join my Patreon, i even give you the sketch. I'm doing this on a block of watercolour paper, but you can use any paper really. And I'm using a just a gel roller pen just to draw out the houses. You can draw it in pencil first if you so wish, if you're not too brave enough. My rollerball pen had run out, so I had to change it to a different one. I just made it really simple and easy and uh, just easy to draw don't don't over complicate things you'll see you'll still see the uh, ink lines when we paint over it so it was something I wanted to show through as well so I didn't make a mess of it and I did it quite boldly Um, that's all I need to draw with my ink pen and now I'm coming in the paint I'm using is that really cheap acrylic matte craft paint for this and this was in like a midnight blue colour I decided I wanted it to be like a moon in the sky and stars or snow and just keep it really easy and simple so I just painted it with this dark and left the moon I didn't paint all the way down I just painted to where I thought the horizon would be and um, I even sort of made it look like there was a little hill in the distance.
I then came in with an icy blue colour. I just mixed a bit of the blue with the white acrylic that I was using as well and just painted the snow here and there really. I painted the houses in a darker grey so I just mixed a bit more of the blue in with the white paint. Don't forget to paint the chimneys. I then carried on with the grey blue to paint where the snow was on the ground. I then blended it out with some white paint. I came in with some darker blue to add where I wanted some trees to go. I thought I'd draw into these when the paint was dry. I used some red watercolour paint just to paint the front door and the very tops of the chimney pots. I then came in with some white acrylic, that matte acrylic, to um, create some more snow effect. I then mixed a bit of the white with some of the, that grey and just came in and tried to add some details of where I thought the shadows on the roof would go. Also added a bit of lighter grey around the windows and also some little details to make it look like the front of the houses had bricks on them. You don't have to paint in every detail, just try and keep it really simple. I then came in with a dark blue pencil crayon and started painting, not painting, drawing, drawing in where the trees go. <laughs> I 
I then decided to paint in some snow or stars. I'm not quite sure exactly what they were. <laughs> um, I didn't splatter it because I wanted to keep it quite uh, painty-like rather than splatty, if you know what I mean. I, don't know. <laughs> I wanted to keep it quite whimsical and simple looking. I then came in with the blue, dark blue pencil and drew in some trees. I then came in with a creamy coloured pencil just to add a bit of yellowness to the moon and then some little details on the roofs where the moonlight was reflecting and on some bits of the snow in the foreground. I decided to add like a skeletal plant in the corner. I'm not quite sure if this is a good idea or not but um, it's sort of added a bit of scale to the painting. I then used a dryer to, to dry everything to make sure everything was really dry because I wanted to come back in with the gel pen. Here I'm just adding a few more details that got painted over with the gel pen. I'm going to paint the like the door details, gave it a little letterbox and then paint the details of the trees. Then I think I'm done. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a go. It's really simple and fun to do. I'd love to see what you do. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please think about joining my Patreon. All the links are down below. Thank you. Bye.